one day somebody does something unspeakable to someone else, to someone you hardly knew, man, you do something about it, because you can. This story comes to us from Fox 13, going to Memphis, Tennessee. And it looks like Tyree Nichols won't be the only victim of a Memphis police officer. Fox 13 has learned, investigators believe, Memphis police officer Joseph McKinney may have been killed by gunfire from another police officer. Now, the Shelby County District Attorney's Office said it will request a transfer to prosecute in adult court the 17-year-old involved in the shootout that killed Officer McKinney and 18-year-old Jalen Lobley. The district attorney plans to charge the 17-year-old with multiple counts of charges, including criminal attempted first-degree murder. Now, when Fox 13 asked why attempted murder and not murder, a spokeswoman for the district attorney said they have not proceeded with a murder charge at, that, at this time because current information indicates that Officer McKinney was killed by friendly fire. That's not good. Got to watch your own now. The charges the district attorney's office is pursuing against the teen are 13 counts each criminal attempted first-degree murder, assault against first responder, and aggravated assault. <clears throat> the district attorney office, the district attorney's office, also said in a statement, although current information indicates friendly fire, we believe the 17-year-old's reprehensible actions are still the real cause of Officer McKinney's death. Should a legal avenue open up for additional prosecution, be assured we will pursue it. And so it sounds like they're saying, look, if he hadn't committed this crime that we're charging him with, if he hadn't been at the location, if he hadn't started this whole ruckus, Officer McKinney wouldn't have been there in that situation and wouldn't have been shot. That's what they're saying. Which also means, sounds like it, they're going to kind of like turn it so that if he was hit by friendly fire, it almost sounds, and maybe I'm just being, um, what am I saying? Maybe, I, I don't know the word, but maybe I'm just jumping on it real quick here and saying that it almost sounds like they're trying to set up where they're going to justify the friendly fire and say, hey, this, this teenager caused it. Kind of a thing, right? That makes sense? Let's move on. I digress. <clears throat> Additional charges include theft of property, ten to $60,000, possessing a firearm during a commission or attempt to commit dangerous felony, possession of a prohibited weapon, and evading arrest. Cumulatively, these charges carry a potential maximum sentence of 400 years, the district attorney's office said in the release, and they're going to push for all 400 because an officer, of course, died in this uh, ruckus. Now, interim chief C.J. Davis released a statement regarding the new information regarding the officer's death. Of course, the new information meaning friendly fire, I guess. But C.J. Davis, the interim police chief, says, we continue to mourn the death of Officer Joseph McKinney as we learn this new information. The facts remain that our officers responded to a very violent encounter that tragically resulted in Officer McKinney being fatally shot. We continue to support Officer McKinney's family and the Memphis Police Department in honor of his valor. Please continue to pray for the family and all involved. And the Memphis Police Association said in a statement, while the MPA, the Memphis Police Association, the department and this city continue to grieve the loss of Officer Joseph McKinney, we must focus on the cause of this tragic incident. Officer McKinney made the ultimate sacrifice to protect the citizens of this city from two individuals that chose to become violent when encountering police. It was a result of the suspect's decision to become violent that led to the exchange of gunfire, which led to the tragic loss of life. We will continue to focus on Officer McKinney's valor in the face of danger and the sacrifice he made for the citizens of this city. That's the statement from the Memphis Police Association. 
Now, again, do you see what they say? Um, when they say here, let's back it up. Um, it was a result of the suspect's decision to become violent, which led to the exchange of gunfire, which led to the loss of this officer's life. So they're going back there. So it sounds almost like if they do find out he was killed by friendly gunfire by other cops, they're not really going to, it doesn't sound like they're really going to look in to see which cops did that. They're going to say, hey, these two teenagers, they caused it. They hadn't have been doing what they were doing, you know. And they may be right in some aspects. But the bottom line is, if it was friendly fire, you have incompetency in your department that you're kind of maybe, I don't know, am I being uh, uh, too forward here to say, are they overlooking it? Are they going, you know what, hey, teenager's fault, not the cop's fault. They shouldn't have been there in the first place doing that. I don't know. 